In this episode, the Cat Ukraine is finished and the keel sub-assemblies are fitted and glued into position. Hold the phone. Now this is what I was planning for this episode, but there's no way I'm cramming all this content without turning it into a full-length feature film. So, we're going to break it into two episodes. This episode, let's call it episode 20 Alpha, will highlight the gantry build. The next episode, 20 Bravo, will cover the glue up of all the keel sub assemblies. Sound good? All right. Roll them! Hi, I'm Bill England, and welcome to the Ambler Odyssey's YouTube channel. I am vlogging the build of a George Bueller designed 48 foot wooden troller yacht here in my Summerside, Prince Edward Island, Canada backyard boat shed. With the frames built, we are on to laminating the keel. When she is complete, we will sail the seven seas in search of adventure. To lift and position the keel assemblies and later on the frames, a gantry crane with a chain hoist must be built. Before the upper structure of the gantry can be constructed, the existing cross bracing of the gantry base is strengthened by creating a rabbit joint. To do this, a notch is cut in the top of the supports for the 2x6 cross bracing to fit in flush. For a good YouTube video describing the different ways to use a chisel, check out Rex Kruger's channel. He's got a video on what you can do with a chisel. See the link in the description. I had acquired a trusty old bit brace. These were the types of human power drills used before power drills came around to make drilling faster and easier. It will be interesting going old school from time to time during the boat build. ratchet mechanism on the bit brace makes things a little bit easier when the going gets tough. Reversing the ratchet allows you to unscrew the bit.
Some 5 sixteenths carriage bolts are added to give additional strength to the joint. After some gussets were added to the cross braces, it was time to move on to the vertical and perpendicular posts. Here I am working on the vertical posts, which will fit into the gantry base in a mortise and tenon like joint. You can see I've already cut the tenons in the bottom of these three 2x6s, which will be nailed together with 4 inch nails. Thanks to my award winning video techniques, you can't see it here, but I am cutting two of the 2x6s short so that the top of the vertical will form a mortise for the perpendicular at the top of the gantry. The screws are just to hold the lumber in position. And this is the fourth piece, the outer piece, that makes the outside of that mortise. Some days even the hammering doesn't go your way. Here's the tenon in the base of the vertical. And here's the mortise in the top of the vertical. I am transferring out the shape of the mortise onto the 6x6 beam that will be the gantry arm.
I rotate the beam 90 degrees and use the tracing to set the blade depth and then cut out the tenons. Hey, I want to thank the, uh, all the subscribers to the Ambler Odyssey's YouTube channel. I've recently just broken the 1,000 subscriber mark, which is uh, a huge achievement for me. I really appreciate all the comments, all the likes. It's a labor of love, that's for sure. Uh, my intent here is to definitely not boast about my boat building uh, abilities, uh, because I'm learning those each and every day as I go. I just want to share this journey I'm going on and hoping somebody would uh, want to embark on a similar journey of building a boat. Now it doesn't have to be a 48 foot monstrosity like the beast I'm building. It can be, um, you know, hey, a cedar strip kayak or canoe. Uh, it can be a motorboat. Uh, there's a whole wide variety based on what your uh, intended use would be for it. So again, thank you very much to the thousand subscribers. Might as well go for 2,000. Giddy up. With one side done, it's time to flip it over and notch out the other side. Then some final pairing with the chisel and the notches are done. With the two pieces done, it is time to dry fit the two pieces together. Just like going to the barber and asking for a little bit off the side. Back to the bit brace to drill holes for the eye bolts to hook the chain hoist to and on the opposite end the wire for the strong back.
The vertical support was positioned and bolted through the cross braces. And now for the topping on the cake. More bracing to help distribute the load. I kept the bracing simple and just cut it at 45 degrees. She ain't pretty, but she just looks that way.
All right, first rigging for the uh, for the boat. Working on some stays. No, actually, this is for the strong back for the gantry. And just uh, got some eight inch um, aviation uh, cable here. Thin buckle, thimble, some clamps, just clamping these down. Nice and tight. Didn't have a wrench small enough, so I just didn't buy one. Nice thing about boat building is you will always need a tool of some sort. A little uh, four inch crescent wrench was uh, cheaper than a crimper. So that's why I just have the um, uh, clips vice the uh, sleeves that you put on and crimp down nice and tight. In the next episode, the gantry gets some tracks to roll on and the keel sub-assemblies are fit and glued into position. I promise. Thanks for joining me for this episode. For a front row seat on this do-it-yourself boat build project, please like, subscribe, and be notified on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube to the Ambler Odysseys. Till next time, toodly-doo.